Hello everyone and welcome to a Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Doesn't look like Marcel is going to do any cooking tonight, so I thought I would. Once in a while I'll get a craving for something, and right at the moment, uh, even though it's evening and it's dinner time, I've got a craving for biscuits. So I've made up a biscuit here, and I'll throw you the ingredients real quick like, it's two cups of flour, it's a really simple recipe, biscuits are really simple. Two cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, a tablespoon of baking soda, and I made my own buttermilk. We got some carabao milk and I added vinegar. Come to find out we had mixed results on the buttermilk and sour cream last time because uh, I didn't know. You know in the states we're used to 5% acidity in our vinegar. Uh, it's usually Heinz vinegar, and almost almost all the all the other brands are five percent as well. But come to find out, uh, the vinegar here is only four percent. And uh, so I'm thinking, and and all vinegar is diluted to five percent acidity. I don't know what the natural acidity is, but it's a lot more than five percent. So it's diluted here to 4% rather than 5 and I think that's why the buttermilk last time that we made uh, didn't turn out that great and the sour cream as well, it was like really thin. Uh, the difference between 4% and 5% is about 20% acidity uh, of volume. So I used a full tablespoon of this vinegar in one cup of Carabao milk uh, and used it that way. There's also a third a cup of oil, so it's two cup flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, a tablespoon of baking soda. You can add a little more salt if you want, a little dash of sugar, uh, I don't, uh, and a third cup of oil. I'm just going to stir this up. This will be a little bit... Uh, the word I'm looking for. I keep thinking of soupy, but that's not the word. Uh, thin. This will be a little bit thin. It's hard to do this with one hand. I should probably go get the tripod. I mix that up pretty good. It's almost coming away from the sides. Uh, if you know you've got it just about right, then it'll come away from the sides of the pan. So I'll let this sit for a few minutes. And, and while I'm letting that sit, uh, I put the flour away. Shouldn't have put it away. I'm going to get the flour back down here. There's not much left. I don't have a rolling pin. Yeah, I think Marcel does somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I'm going to just dust the countertop here with some flour. Spread it out a little bit. That's why it doesn't matter if the if the uh, biscuit mix is a little bit thin because you're. I'm going to be putting it on top of flour, so that'll absorb any excess moisture. I'm also going to make a gravy, but I'm going to use, uh, Judy sent us these uh, sausage country gravy mixes, so I'm just going to use one of these. Uh, I can make a really good southern gravy uh, if I have sausage, uh, country sausage. You can make it with bacon, but it's not quite the same. Uh, country uh, sage sausage is the way to go if you're going to make gravy, and I just don't have any. So I'm just going to use this mix. Next time, when I run out of the mix, of course, I'll use uh, bacon. I'll use the bacon fat and finely dice the bacon and put it in the gravy. The sausage gravy and biscuits is the way to go. I've also taken this little, uh, this is a condensed milk can. I've cut out both ends. This is going to be my cutter, my biscuit cutter. That's what I'm going to use for that. There's something else. I've been trying to remember to say, but I just can't remember. So anyway, I'm going to get all this set out, and I'm going to start cutting it and putting it in a pan. 
I'm also going to lightly dust the top of this with flour just to make it easy to handle because when you cut these biscuits you're going to have to pick them up and put them in the pan and because this is a little bit gooey you don't want it sticking to you so just pat it out to the thickness you want uh, some people like really thick crazy biscuits uh, I like them about like that it's about a half an inch just kind of pat it out cut you a little bit of flour over like that shake that around that get that's get your flour up inside of your cutter just do it like that and they're easy to cut out uh, putting the flour inside the cutter keeps the biscuits from sticking to the cutter and we can get one more right there yeah this would be a, a half moon shaped biscuit and I don't have enough there to get one more. I've got to go over here and turn this water off. So there's no need to uh, grease your pan. Hopefully this isn't too gooey. I can get these out. Yeah, just right in the pan they go. Probably should have added another three or four tablespoons of flour just to thicken this up a little bit but these will be fine put them in your pan sides gently touching and I'm going to take this dough you don't want to mess with it too much you don't want to work it you don't want to knead it. It's not bread. It's uh, it's uh, well, it's biscuit dough. So dust this again, real light, like. Bring your biscuits back over. This recipe is also obviously for a 13 by 9 pan, and this one is about I don't know, 6 by 9. So we're only going to get six biscuits. That'll be enough. I'll make a second batch with this stuff here. So you preheat your oven, uh, this little toaster oven, baby, basically as hot as it'll go. I've got it as hot as it'll go. I'm hoping that'll be something close to 450 degrees. That's about where you want to do your biscuits. 10-12 minutes until they're lightly brown. Every oven is different. Now you can brush the top of these with butter, uh, even if you like a, a really golden crust on them, uh, you can brush mayonnaise on the top, a real thin coating of mayonnaise. Uh, that, makes a nice, that makes a nice biscuit as well. It, it, it darkens the tops more. I'm going to wait just a few minutes before I set those in there. I can check the temperature. Yeah, it clicked off at about uh, 100 degrees Celsius, and that's about 150 degrees, so uh, I want it to heat up quite a bit more than that. So I'm just going to have to wait. Alright, well I've got the gravy done. It was pretty straightforward. A couple cups of milk in the mix. No big deal. You guys have seen me make gravy before. Uh, the only difference between this is what would be called a, a southern milk gravy. Uh, you've seen me make the, the Kano's gravy. Uh, that's a water gravy. Um, to make a good milk gravy, uh, about uh, six tablespoons of oil, three or four tablespoons of flour, uh, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, and a couple cups of water. And, and there you have your southern gravy. A mix is okay too. Um, I, di I didn't want to make a second pat batch of biscuits. I just want to eat and relax. So I took those all out of the pan and I just made them thicker. Uh, I recut them, and this is what's left over. One of the dogs will enjoy that, I'm sure. He's not even. I was going to put a little mini biscuit in the pan, but nah. 
Well, why not? I'll just throw a little mini biscuit in right there. It'll turn into a real biscuit. While I'm waiting to, for this to heat up, I set this up here on top of the oven. Uh, it's hot up here. I still turn come to find out this has a an upper and a lower, and it was on the lower here, so I turned it to upper end bottom filament, and, and hopefully it'll get hot here. Yeah, it's a, it's like at 180 now, so I'm gonna throw them in. All right, I'm calling these done. I cooked them for 10 minutes and they just weren't browning up like I wanted them to. So I moved the tray up one. Uh, they weren't browning on the top. Well, that looks like a pretty good biscuit to me. So there they are. I'm going to let them cool for just a few minutes. And uh, I've, I've been wanting not only biscuits and gravy, but I've also been wanting a biscuit with butter and jam. I don't have any grape jelly. That's my favorite to put on biscuits is grape jelly. But I do have some strawberry. So I'm going to fix one of these up with some strawberry jam. So there they are. There, I just pulled that one apart. One thing uh, that's not going to be the best here is they went to Alturas yesterday and of all the times we've went there because I've been craving this for a couple of days of all the times we went there the last time we went they didn't have any real butter so I'm having to slum it here and use margarine I'm going to put that guy up there set him aside Just a little dab of jelly to put on him in a minute that's actually a pretty big dab. Now if you want uh, if you want a flaky biscuit, I used a third of a cup of oil in this recipe. If you want a flakier biscuit, don't use oil, use um, wow, it's hot. Use butter or or Crisco, either one. Uh, chilled if you can. Uh, chilled works the best and um, fork it into your dough uh, and then add your uh, wet ingredients and you know I'd said earlier in this video don't play with a dough and you don't on this kind of biscuit but if you want a flaky biscuit use the use the uh, butter or the Crisco uh, shortening you can even use lard uh, a solid oil man that's hot and work your dough, uh, just keep folding it uh, on your, in your working area. Fold it 20 or 30 times, uh, not really kneading it, you're just folding it in on itself. Uh, don't roll it around, just, just keep folding it. And that'll add the layers to it. And because you use shortening, uh, the layers will, will stay a bit separated. Uh, shortening or butter. And that's how you get a nice layered uh, flaky biscuit. I really don't care. I don't. Uh, I didn't have any butter, and I didn't have any Crisco, so I just used oil. Man, that is hot. Oh, oh. I'm going to take my gravy and just dump it out of the pan. Of course, the dogs are going to help me make this video. Come on, you can do it. And that, boys and girls, is biscuits and gravy for dinner. And then I'll come back, I'll let all this sit here. And after I eat that, maybe for a little midnight snack, two or three hours, I'll come by and I'll take one of these biscuits in half and I'll wipe out that pan with it. Oh, that's delicious too. So there you go. This is all melted now. Throw my jam on there. Cover her back over. I might eat that one first. I might have to make a cup of coffee and eat that. So there it is. That's Brian's Biscuits and Gravy. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.